In Desperate Times news. Pose for Desperate Measures. Submitted by Ice Ice Baby. Indian villagers have been sending their elderly off into forest to receive government compensation. What, like they get paid for hiking? <laughs> I don't think that's what it is. It's kind of like those uh, fundraiser walks, you know what I mean? Like, like the you, breast cancer one? Yeah, like you, if you do eight miles, then you get paid this much. Are they sending them away to die? That's sad. That's what I was thinking. Go into the forest. Yeah. They kill This is in India? India. Oh, no, just, they respect are... their elders. Or maybe there's a retirement home within the woods. Ah! Is it forest? Like forest. a Hansel and Gretel Indian style. And their house is made out of curry. Oh. <laughs> I would hate I that, like dude. <laughs> what are they trying to do? So, what government <laughs> officials found out is that a lot of people have been sending their elderly into these forests that are, uh, that are reserves for tigers. And so they're sending them in there so they could get mauled, so they could get government compensation. I told you. Oh my oh, god, that's I fucking crazy. Oh, what India, they, what the fuck? If they die, if they die though, are they still getting those benefits or are they just getting like just claws to the face, just enough so they can say he got hurt? Yeah, are they expecting die. death or like a minor injury? That is the worst way to fucking die, dude. I always said this Indian people are the darker Chinese. That's all. They just all do it. It's pretty true. <laughs> it's pretty true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it. it's pretty true because I watched uh, Slumdog Millionaire. Cute ass name. And that's it's pretty true. Yeah. That's one of my. It's pretty uh, true. Ideas of India is a Slumdog Millionaire. And remember that thing where they had all the children amputated body parts, yeah. and then they would have them go out and beg. Or they'll so blind them. Shit, dude. I was like, dude, that's so next level. I didn't even think of that. They don't got it on Taiwan though, man. What do they do? They fucking have no limbs and they beg until their head falls off. <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. That's like legit what they do. There's a guy, when I went into a restaurant and I came out, he started doing this. And I came out still doing it. The panhandlers in Taiwan make the ones here look lazy as fuck. Yup. And it makes you not want to give anybody money here. Cause they work fucking hard over there. And they understand their position. They're like, I don't work for money, but I'm begging you to please have pity on me. You know why? It's cause Asians are cheap as fucking hell. To get a penny out of an Asian, you have to do like mm. so much work. You gotta be like, please, I need, I just want a lunch. You want a fucking lunch. Guess what? I want a lunch too, and I fucking work. That's why it's hard to get uh, immigrant people to give money to homeless people. Yep, because yeah. they get angry. They're like, I came here with only $50 in my pocket, and I had to suck so much dick and work at a Chinese restaurant for me to make 50 cents an hour. Why the fuck are you homeless? Exactly. Yep. Yeah, so this reserve, they're saying that they've been receiving a lot of tiger attack reports recently, and so they started investigating. <laughs> into it and then so once they they would see like evidence of a mauling they found out where's the evidence like fucking dentures and like <laughs> broken walkers like pieces of clothing or blood oh. and then like they so this one particular victim they found that this body was moved outside of the reserve like originally they found evidence that this person got mauled inside but if they get mauled inside the reserve, they can't receive any government compensation because these tigers, they're roaming free. So anyone that enters that it's reserve, fault. it's your fault. It's your fault. But oh. if you get mauled outside of the reserve, that's when they can get compensation. So what they found is that someone oh. moved the body of this elderly person. And so that's when they started investigating some more. And then they started asking the villagers nearby if they were doing this. And instead of denying it, they ended up saying, well, these elderly people volunteered to end their life earlier. So like that's their their reason. Do you think they really volunteered as tribute so then the whole village can eat? Because that's some honorable shit. Well, yeah. I don't think I could do that. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if I was aging it. and then my whole village is like, we haven't eaten in one week. Guess we all starving then. And I'll be like, I know how huh? I'm kind of hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> I would start shooting my own commercials, putting flies on my face. Donate one dollar, 
here and they'll go so far. It's India. Try it. It's India. Oh, fuck. I don't know how to do an Indian accent. <laughs> I'll shoot my own commercials. That's some sad ass shit, dude. Yeah. So there's this one farmer that said, quote, they think that they, they think that since they can't get resources from the forest, this is the only way their families can escape poverty. That's what do you mean? They can't go in the forest and like pick some mangoes and shit because there's too many tigers? Is that what's happening? It's it's like a reserve, so I, I don't know if they can even get anything from the forest. That's why people be hunting tigers, man. I mean, can they farm or something? But we have How clay. They can't just farm. It's too hot. It's pretty sad that they have to do all these crazy tactics just to get money for food. I can't even fathom that level of poverty. Can we just send some send them like a whole shit of soylent? I know because like you know how like we have our fucking struggle stories being lower middle class boo fucking who right and I hear these stories of like you know like uh, I was a child soldier and uh, they forced me to kill other people at the age of seven and they gave me some fucking gunpowder mixed with heroin and told me to snort that fucking shit but you know what now I'm in America and I'm going to college and I'm like looking at them like Damn, dude, I'm a bitch. That's what I'm saying. It's hard for immigrant parents to empathize with their children. That's why. That's why they always fucking make you feel like a piece of shit. You go, you know, I had to walk ten miles to school uphill. Yeah. I don't even ride a train. We're not even gonna have the opportunity to tell our kids that. You know that I had to call the fucking Uber. To walk and me. I waited 10 minutes because it was so busy that we can't even well, brag I like was that. fortunate enough to be in poverty when I was a kid you so were, <laughs> you were so fortunate enough I have enough misfortune so I could give them a little shit same <laughs> yeah in your fucking face kids your dad didn't have shit <laughs> you know like do you think that's what happens when you Americanize because you know like if you hear all these like uh, white people immigrant stories, like the Irish or whatever, it's very, it's all similar to every single immigrant story. Like they were in poverty, they didn't have potatoes, they had to come to the U.S. They were fucking starving. They were working in the coal mines, all this shit, right? And then their kids get it a little bit easier. They go to college, and then their kids, and then their kids, and then their kids, and then their kids, and then all of a sudden they're fucking complaining about their chai latte isn't warm enough. The old grandpa was searching for a pot of gold for 20 years before he died. And that was the shit that he had to go yeah. through. I think that's gonna be fucking my grandkids, man. My grandkids gonna fucking start complaining about fucking iced coffee didn't have Dude, I, I really wish I there wasn't that study that proved that beating your kids doesn't do anything. I wish it was the opposite. Where it showed that beating your kids does improve them as human beings. Because that shit's fucking me up in the head. Because I you know, always... Download the article and do some Photoshop and show your kids. Because I really want to punch my kid though. What? At least once. They're your kid. You own them. Do whatever you want. Yeah, but you know, if like psychologically, now that I know that it doesn't do anything for them, you don't want to do it. Exactly. But so wait, what? What do people do if they don't beat their kids? Like I, how, they I just mean, talk to them like a lot. I feel like discipline and relationship starts at an early age. You know, because when I see my cousin talk to his kid, he doesn't have to hit his kid, but the kid respects him enough. They make they become more intelligent. Yeah, and he's like, hey, go to the corner. <gasps> You know, he's like, <laughs> how cute. Yeah, they go to the corner. And he's like, he thinks like the whole world is gonna end and shit. Oh. How old is he? The kid's three now. Oh. Yeah. Cause like he said he spanked him once. <laughs> this fool is such a little punk. He spanked him once. He hit him in the butt. He goes, hey, then go to your room, right? <laughs> he spanked him in the butt. And I, this fool said he turned around. And he started crying because he felt so bad that he hit his kid. Like like legit, he had like tears. Yeah, on. he was like, shh, because he felt terrible. But you're gonna smack crazy. your kid? Probably. I well, don't know. can I beat your kids? Yes. Cool. I might do the little, like, up to a certain age, like, hey, don't do that. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna put pads and gloves on, and I'm like, we're fucking going, homie. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't know how to walk yet? But I don't give a fuck. Come on, crawl. <laughs> <laughs> fucking overcooked that fucking baby. Just kidding. Kids are fucking cute. At least they have no teeth to lose. I know. Oh, that's we'll be right. grappling then. Fucking got your nanny, we are naked, bitch. <laughs> You're trying to dislocate their arm, they're so fucking like... They're all like limb... Yeah. <laughs> Babies are so cute. Did you ever spank Isaac? Uh... A little bit? Here I'm Mexican, I mean... Yeah. What do you think? That's what I'm saying. It's like... <laughs> it's like, like so the belt? 
Mexican. And the chancla. Equals sandals and. Like, I don't want to be incriminated. I mean, it's, I don't. I think that's just different types of parenting. Like I say, I'm, I'm not gonna want to spank my kid, but I feel like I'm going to. But I don't want to do it to the extent that my dad did, where he threw a chair at me and shit. But I see that's how kids become soft. I bet you that Irish immigrant used to be, get drunk and beat the fuck out of his kid, <laughs> and his kid said, "I'm not gonna do that," and maybe I'll just spank in a butt. And then his kid said, "I'm gonna fucking not do any of this." And I'm just gonna talk to my kids, and then they just keep going down the line like that. Well, and that's then good. There's no anger issues. No, they get soft though. That's the problem. But the I thing is, have a soft person than someone with fucking PTSD. And no, shit. they're they're gonna get run over by the world. That's the problem. But the thing I is, don't think so. now they're complaining about their chai latte not being hot enough. Uh, yeah. There's gotta be balance, okay? Balance, yeah. Cause I I agree, like. I see Isaac, he's getting soft, and I'm just like, dang, it wasn't you want too us to fuck easy. Him up? I'll fuck his ass up. <laughs> no, I'm not saying I want him to get his ass beat, I, I, but now I'm thinking- I can't hit that kid, I fucking I'm love that hug shit. Him. You guys are bros. <laughs> I'm gonna hug him up. No, that's why Casey and I have been talking and like with his dad too, because the three of us, we work as a team to parent, and so that's we've awesome. been thinking like- Dude, that's, that's like a threesome, but like not even sexual. <laughs> it's parental. <laughs> yeah. 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 Parental threesome. So we're like trying to look into putting him into some martial arts so then at least the yeah. third yeah, person can give him like different kind of discipline because he gets discipline from Casey and I at home and then he, I don't know what his dad usually does because he tells me one thing but he could be doing another. So I don't know what kind of discipline he's getting over there. And Muay Thai, you should put him in Muay Thai. Because he'll yeah, kick I the fucking put him in shit out of him. Because I, I don't. Like when he was younger and he was a toddler, yes, like the Mexican mother in me really truly came out. But like as he's gotten older and like he understands better and I can actually you communicate talk to him. with yeah. him and he under he like he can understand shit now. I don't need to resort to Mexican. Rage. I want to mentally fuck up my kid. What do you consider off limits? Like let's say the kid's talking shit, guy or girl, doesn't really matter. Oh, he's getting slapped. But if I pick them up by their neck, no, that's off limits. Why? Okay, well let's let's put it like this then. I haven't I'm, even socked them yet. I'm the kid. <laughs> I'm the kid, you right? Just can never and I look at Bart and I'm like, fuck you, Dad! Or what if the kid is like, fuck you, mom, you fucking bitch! That's so cute. You're a fucking shit! Then can I go May I do the honors? Well, you make it sound like what? it's day and night. <laughs> yeah. I'm it's... fucking sick of the shit. I'm a grown fucking man, all right? I'm fucking 12. Get the fuck out of my face. It wouldn't happen like you that. You don't know though. My room, mom. I do know that. No, you don't, because kids go crazy sometimes. They yeah. do go crazy. What if they go, get but... out of my room, mom. But you can already start seeing signs. And start recording. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Uncle Joe does whatever. He's wearing a pirate hat right now. <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think it happens overnight like that. But what's wrong with the uh, the good old oh, fashioned shut on the wall? Up. I think it's so cute. I wouldn't. I think I think I'm gonna have fucked up kids because I can't. <laughs> If a kid starts fucking yelling at me, like that little boy in the diaper, I'm grown, I'm grown. You know that one? <laughs> it's just so fucking cute and funny. I would want more of that. <sighs> I get mad. Like, oh, I'm gonna hate your. Hey, shit. Linda, you know, like yes. the, you know the I was fucking. About to say the hey, Linda. Thing. You know, listen, Linda. That kid, I wanted yeah, to yes. fucking yes. sock him in like, the like, Watch it and laugh at it like crazy. The funny thing is, when I watch it's that, not your child. As an isolated incident, is funny. It actually didn't make me laugh though. When I saw that shit, I was like, I'm gonna fucking knock this kid out, dude. Listen, Linda, that's funny, fucking bitch! And throw him like that. <laughs> what if we had a moon oh, bounce? Oh, I don't wanna hear it. God damn you it. sound fucking crazy. You don't make any sense. I sound crazy? I'm asking you questions. What the fuck? You want the room to back your crazy ass up? I'm that's asking not questions happen. and I didn't even commit to it yet. I'm not going to my fucking room! What, I have a white kid now? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's privileged now. I'm not going to my fucking room! He's not room. privileged at all. He's going to do this with his hair. I'm going to go to my fucking... neck crack. Yeah. I'm not going to go to my fucking... Mom, I'm dying. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Just Kidding News. And if there's a story that you guys want us to talk about, go ahead down into our description box below. And there's a link there where you can submit articles. For the next video, click right up here.